Good evening. <clears throat> I will directly start. In its 2000, 2012 Inclusive Growth Agenda, the African Development Bank addressed the importance of long-run strong and sustained growth to reduce poverty. To address the issue of improving and strengthening growth, it is important to master its levers in African countries. This task proves difficult because of the low reliability of data on economic growth, as discussed this afternoon. Many studies discussed the issue of growth. What is new in our paper is to think of growth as a latent variable. That means a variable that is not easily um, observed and easily measured. To illustrate this point, please look at this picture. What you can see on, the, on this picture are three different shapes of growth. You can see a tree, a human being, and another process. Ask yourself what you see on that picture. Do you see growth? According to me, no. You just see the observable outcomes of growth. That means changes in size, in height, in thickness, in volume, and so on and so forth. Anything else you can see, not on the picture of course, is the means used to achieve growth. Namely, for example, for a human being, uh, any other economic expenses for education, for medical care, etc. etc. So, uh, lit economic literature has documented the determinants of growth. And we will rely our paper on those determinants to try to assess the intensity of the link between those existing determinants and the unobserved growth variable. Our hypothesis is that growth is, the, is a, a latent variable, but uh, its outcomes can be observable and its determinants too. So to address our question, we will use a structural equation model with latent variable. And this uh, model have the advantages to help to, to have the ability to build a latent variables from observed variables and to draw the correlations between variables as specified by theory. The objectives of the paper is to test of the to test the strength of the correlations between that latent variable and the observable determinants and to predict the value of the latent variables. We get three sets of results. The first one tells us about the most significant African growth determinants for each year, regardless of the strength of the correlations. The second set of the results present the most relevant variables according to economic growth issue. I'm sorry, it is too little, so you can see it better on the paper. The third one, finally, is related to the measure of growth. It is not presented here because of the large size of the table. Finally, what can we learn from this study? We can learn three, three things. First, the quality of institutional environment is critical for African growth. Secondly, the levels of growth may be different from one year to the other. That fact underlies the importance of the role of structural changes while learning uh, for growth. And thirdly, even if we cannot throw per capita GDP away, it is not an exact measure of growth in Africa. Before closing, let me point out that the issue of heterogeneity between countries is not addressed in the paper, but it deserves deep investigation with appropriate technical methods. Thank you for your kind attention. Excellent. Yes. Yeah. <laughs>